Hi, welcome to this Excel Power BI and SQL Server video tutorial. David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show us how to import data stored in SQL Server into Power BI. Thereafter, we're going to create some basic DAX measures and create a simple visualization. And then we're going to store the data into our Power BI service. And thereafter, we'll come to the Excel for the web to create pivot table from Power BI data set, which is a new feature in Excel for the web. So without wasting our time, let's dive in. Now I'm going to come to my SQL Server Management Studio, and you can see we have this sales database. And under this database, we have three tables, which are F transaction data, DIM customer type, DIM account manager. Now let's quickly verify what we have in each of these tables. So I'm going to write a simple three line of code to retrieve what we have in each of these tables. So let's do that. Now, very importantly, we need to point to the database that we want to retrieve from, which is sales data. So let's write our query. So I'm going to say select all from dbo.f transaction so this is going to retrieve all the records from the f transaction data table so another one select all from dbo.dim account manager and the last one is this from dbo.dim customer type Oh, this is customer type. Okay, so I'm going to select all the three queries and click on execute. Cool. So we have all the data retrieved. So you can see this is for the first one, the F transaction data, followed by the account manager. So let's scroll up a bit. And then we have the last one, which is the customer type. Now let's go to our Power BI desktop. So in the Power BI, you can actually come to the data connector. We have the SQL Server connector here, or you can even click from the canvas, the import data from SQL Server. So I'm going to click from here. And having clicked from here, you need the name of your server. Now I've actually copied the name of my server, which is this. And all I need to do is to proceed. Now, this data connectivity mode import is exactly what we need. So click on OK. Right now, we have this navigator dialog box. So we can actually see the name of our database from the SQL server. So I'm going to click on this expand button. And we have all the three tables, the F transaction data, the many side, and the two dimension table. So I'm going to check all the three boxes and click on transform data. We want to actually verify the data types, whether they are actually in what we you know, need or not, or we need to fine tune them. So I'm going to come to the F transaction. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is we have this date time, other date data type. I'm going to put that into proper date data type. And I'm going to do the same thing for the ship date so we want the date data type and finally for the total i'm going to put this into fixed decimal number data type and that's all i need to do let's check this i'm sure this is going to be fine we have proper text and we have this so i'm going to click on close and apply because we have that in power bi close and apply so it's going to close the power query and apply into the data model which is the power bi so we have our data loaded into the data model and we can see that there is automatic one-to-many relationship that has been created so we have the two dim tables and the one many side fact table so you can see we have one to many relationship one to many relationship so this is the many side and this are the unique customer type and account manager now having done this what i'm going to do next is just let's come to our table and see our record so we're going to create some two basic dax measure so i'm going to create it under the f transaction so i'm going to right click and choose new measure now in the formula bar 
I'm going to give name. So I want to calculate total total sales. Okay. And I'm going to use simple sum aggregate DAX function. It requires the name of column, which is going to be F transaction. And I'm going to point to in square brackets the total column. So close the parentheses and we hit the enter on the keyboard. So we have our DAX measure created. You can see total sales. Now let's apply currency and we want zero decimals okay now let's just create one more basic dax measure so we want to create the total orders okay so for that we're going to use the count dax function so again right click on the f transaction data table choose new measure and then we give the name of the column which is going to be total total orders and then we use the count function again f transaction table i want to point to the order quantity column close parenthesis and we can hit enter so for this also we just want to okay that's fine we have zero decimals now let's come to our report canvas and create a simple you know report now first and foremost i'm going to take my Okay, let me expand this. Okay, I'm going to drag my account manager unique side, drag it into the canvas, and let's take the total sales and the total orders. So we have our report ready. Now let's come to the format and I want to choose grid. Now in the grid, let's increase the text size. So I want to increase the text size to let's say. 20 and we hit enter so we have our report all right that's amazing so let me just move this to the left now let's just create a simple bar chart so i'm going to click on this you know bar chart and then account manager also all right so we can see how they perform over time the total sales by account manager the first one is even matthew Recorded 148,147 total sales, and the list is Stephen Charles with $6,771. Now, finally, I'm just you know reduce the size. Okay, finally, I need just a slicer. Now, in the slicer, I'm going to use the customer type. Okay, all right, so. This is all we need. So you can actually filter your data using your slicer, as you are aware. You can even filter more than one criteria by holding down the control key and then go ahead and filter. Control S on my keyboard and let's call this report. And uh, we can save it. Okay. All right. So having done that, I'm going to click on publish. So I want to publish to the Power BI service. Now, when I click on publish, I'll be able to see my workspace and my name. So I'm going to put it under Abela David. And of course, before you can actually do this, you need to have signed in into your account. Okay. You need a tenant. So I have my MVP tenant that I've signed in. So you can actually see my name properly displayed. So having done that, so click on select. And we we'll wait for a moment, publishing to power success. So we have successfully published this to the power bi service and just click on this got it or close now let's go to our power bi on the web so you can see that for um, currently i do not have any reports in my workspace so what i'm going to do is just click on refresh button and then i should be able to see the newly published reports that's amazing so we have the report here okay so let's click on this to visualize the report in our Power BI online. That's amazing. So we can see the table we created and of course the bar chart and even the slicer that we applied. Okay, so that's amazing. Now let's finish up things by going to our Excel for the web. Now in Excel for the web, you can actually come under the insert tab of the ribbon and click on Pivot table. Now I need this little icon here. 
and we have this mail from Power BI data set. So I'm going to click on that and then to the right of my screen, we have the Power BI data set coming up. All right, so we can see that we have the pivot table field and these are the two basic DAX measures that we created in the Power BI. And we can see our DIM table, the DIM account manager, DIM customer type, and the fact table. So let's create a simple report you know, from here. Now I'm going to create simple account manager. I want to see the total sales and total orders. Absolutely wonderful. So we can say the total sales for each of the account manager for Abela David, they recorded $69,319. And the total orders that generated these total sales is 70. So this is essentially how we can actually connect to data stored in the SQL Server and load it into the Power BI, create some DAX measure, save in the Power BI service, and create pivot table from Excel from the web. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share, and consider subscribing. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.